Should we try the consoles? Okay, here we go. Following your lead. The ancestors have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. You want me to come with you? It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? the map there should be another exit further in just stay close lead the way i can't believe you actually got us in i was dreading having to stay here any longer with those soldiers hey they slaughtered the barbarians that approached the city it looks like they enjoyed it most of my people aren't like that i promise if you say so Better stand back. the map, the exit should be this way. I'll be glad to get back above ground. Yeah, it feels like a tomb down here. fly to him from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? <sighs> Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Fight them, or try to sneak past. Your call. I don't think shock ammo will help.
cauldron to learn how to override that machine.
a vent. I think I can pull it open. I'm right behind you. Maybe we can get to the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. Locked. There's consoles up here, too! I have no way to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. I'm gonna need a data key for this lock. I think I can move these things. There we go. Huh. There's some space back there. This should help. Supplies. Consoles. Exactly. Hold it there. Let me just. I jumped on top. Hold on. Locked. Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, my mission here is doomed. Alva, I'll help if I can, okay? But first, we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. There should be a power cell inside. Then you need to find a way into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it. Um, Aloy, would... Would you mind warning me next time you decide to, uh, uh blow up a wall? I found the energy cell. I'll, uh, try. On my way. Okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. Ready when you are. Okay, you ready? On two. One. Two. Commencing adamantine reef vulnerability test scenario, 12C15.
Okay, that's where we need to go. What? No, 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 no. I will shut this thing off. What is this? That's how the world ended. Test complete. Adamantine restructural integrity. Uncompromised. What did we just see? Alva. Let's meet below. I'm gonna share a file with you, okay? Test log. Um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. The second? Who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam-packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors? They were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The time of ashes. But most of the data about that is lost or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. Alva. Alva, I get it. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. We need to keep moving. Test Station Ivy can't be far off.
supposed to stop the destruction that caused the Time of Ashes? Looks like it. So, I never asked. Are you from around here? No. I'm not. I've spent most of my life in a place where I guess. We've both traveled a long way, then. <laughs> Oh, damn. Let's find a way to get into the proving ground. That complex should be test station IV. Well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. It's so... still. Yeah. Keep your guard up. Whoa! Into battle! It's one of those machines! It can turn invisible! We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station.
you helped. We should be able to get into Test Station Ivy now. We shouldn't linger here. There might be more machines. <laughs> there has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. Oh. That's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station. This console Willow. is still operational. It looks like it's underwater. Huh. I'll have a look sometime. Another log. We're done in every way. The reeds work. And Cobble came through on a way to destroy them. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme that causes the reeds to eat themselves from within. But... It's too late. The latest projections from U.S. Robot Command have swarm reproduction, outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375%. Not even close. So, all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module into my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. In here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you! We can use the line to get down. Uh, right! Easy! Better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Yes.
what? Now, we get to that data core. This new module works. That was blooming. Let's see if the software works. Silence. They're falling apart. Door's clear now. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring to meter subordinate function of original code. What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But they kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. What you said before about... <laughs> By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come, look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you. An ancestor reborn. Diviner? We should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south, and it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Am I 
her do as Alva says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might want to head to that tall neck I saw in the forest before I make the trek back. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. I see you, champion. Heard the Lowlanders have been fighting rebels by the coast, west of the Grove. If you're still helping the Chief handle those scabs, you might want to talk to Kregella at Tide's Reach. If I make it out there, I'll see what I can do. Make yourself stand out with that. Flat bread with cheese and some sauce. Looks like you got what you wanted. Yeah. It's almost time to go after Hephaestus. Finally. We get to rock and roll. Yeah, at least that's that's how the old one said it, I, I think. I was hoping you could help me with something. It's about the Tanakh rebels, and it also has to do with the Osirum. Really? That doesn't sound good. Let me know what I can do to help. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, the place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. Yeah. I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me, well, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer. 
which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. Now, make myself useful. Just give it time. I discovered an Osiram militant group. They call themselves the Sons of Prometheus. It looks like they're the ones overriding machines for the Tanakh rebels. I thought that was something only you could do. They're familiar with ancient tech. And they're as anti-Karja as it gets. So, last year we stopped Durval and his cronies from blowing up Meridian in retribution for the Red Raids. And now you're telling me we have another group of Asaram trying to wipe out the Karja with... with an army of machines and bloodthirsty Tanakh? Pretty much. Oh, well, that's just great! Is there any way you can help me find out who they are? Anything to track them down and stop them? Yeah, I can send out some messages from Chainscrape. Get in touch with my contacts in the claim, see what I can find out. I'd appreciate that. I should get going. I say hi to Gaia for me. Aloy, is that what I think it is? Just need to merge it with Gaia, and she'll have enough power to handle Hephaestus. Good news. So, what can I do for you? I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Well, before Zoe found a way to fix the land guards, I suggested that when Gaia was fully restored, she could just make new ones. Well, once we get Hephaestus, that's definitely a possibility. That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine as just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. Did you talk to Zoe after your fight? I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. Better get this to Gaia. You did it, Aloy. Let's hold off on the ale till it's over and done with. I'll let Aaron know. Aloy, you've returned. And you come bearing gifts. Does this mean we'll soon be able to uproot the Zeniths from our lands? That's what I'm hoping. Good. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first though. You know I can hear you guys, right? Now that you have those control cores, are you ready to reboot the land gods in Plainsong? Not yet. Gaia told me the reboot code has to be altered using data from the cores. She updated my focus with software to accomplish this task, but apparently it's very complicated. It'll take time. Well, let me know if you need any help. I will. I should get going. If you need me, you know where to find me.
Are you sure that's what the data says? Hey. Looks like things between you and Zoe are better now. I suffered through a few hours of glare. How do people? What if an apology? Give her. You're the worst. What makes you? A ban. I have to get. Don't let me get. I just, uh, wanted to see how you're doing. I'm fine. And look, about earlier, forget it. Was there anything else? So, have you, um, have you been going through more of the recordings for my focus? What about studying Hephaestus? Have you been doing that? A little. It's quite different from the subordinate function that escaped Gaia Prime 20 years ago. How so? It's mutating. Changing its own code. At this rate, we'll never capture it. We'll find a way. If you say so. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but... It's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asked me how I'm feeling and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. I guess so. So, aside from Varl and Gaia, who else have you been talking to? Zoe told me how you met after your escape from the Hades Proving Lab. I had no idea you were severely injured. If the Zenus had killed you, life on Earth would be doomed. My escape would have been for nothing. But they didn't kill me. And thanks to Varl and Zoe, I was able to recover. You said you and Varl talk sometimes. What about? He told me about your tribe. Nora and the proving ritual you did. I told him if I was born into the tribe, I'd never be able to do the proving. It does require a lot of physical training, but there are plenty of other roles besides being a hunter. I don't think I'd be suited for any of them. Well, I guess it's a good thing you're not a Nora then. It's time for- Yeah. <laughs> 